uh, the athletes now will be called to their starting marks uh, for the first semi-final of the 400 meters flat and uh, very strong but British interest in this because we've got Phil Brown and Roger Black drawn in the same semi there are two Britons two French athletes and four of the European top six those four are Black is uh, rated number two in Europe Schersing of East Germany number four Phil Brown number five and Scamrall the European record holder and uh, lane eight is at number six in Europe currently Roger Black last year's European junior champion the boy who could become this year's senior champion 20 years old member of the Southampton uh, Eastleigh Club and uh, just a shake of the hand there from his uh, teammate Phil Brown is one of the nicest guys in the British team Phil never done himself justice really in the individual event he's going around all the athletes saying okay well I hope it goes well he'll be saying to himself though I hope it goes even better for me but uh, Phil who's been the golden boy in every sense on the last leg of the relay and there's such camaraderie in this British team athletics on such a high in Great Britain at the moment Phil coached by Tony Hadley at uh, Birchfield who's also got by the way Derek Redburn going in the second semi-final who's the British record holder so let's uh, have a look at the individuals Aldo Canti of France the French record holder goes in lane at number one he's 25 set the uh, record last year at 45.09 almost as quick this year at 45.87 but only third in this year's French championship and lane at number two Alexander Korochkin he's a real giant he's about six feet four 25 years old soldier he's a Soviet champion that's uh, Ribo of Italy 25 the reigning a challenge champion Bill Brown goes in lane number four. Lane five, Pontrec, the Frenchman, who is their national title holder. 45-5-4 this season. And Roger Black, 45 seconds dead, the second fastest man in Europe this year for Great Britain in lane six. Schersing, the dangerous East German, he goes in lane number four. He's ranked, sorry, he goes in lane number seven and ranked number four in Europe. And there's the European record holder who so far has been out of form for most of this season. Erwin Scalmrell. Ranked, though, number six in Europe at the moment at 45.46, but uh, had a struggle to qualify yesterday and only qualified as a fast loser. The first four go into the final tomorrow, which you'll be able to see live on BBC television. Roger Black. the 400 meters semi-final long hold and Phil Brown was the one who broke first I'm almost sure of that he was desperately anxious to be away often accused of running the first 200 too slowly but certainly his attitude there appeared to be I want to go and the starter agrees it was Phil Brown the yellow disc on block number four bit confused there possibly uh, might have been confusing for you because uh, walking through the picture was one of the girl high jumpers I just uh, just started that competition two five two contract and there's uh, Phil Brown breaking quite clearly so if he breaks again he goes out The lineup again from the inside. Lane one, County of France. Then Korochkin, Soviet Union. Rebo of Italy. Brown of Great Britain. Contrec of France. As Roger Black in lane six. Schersing of East Germany, lane seven. Scamral in lane eight. The 400 meters semi final. No question of anybody breaking there at all. Blasting away at lane three is Rebo of Italy, closing down on Brown, and Roger Black's gone very quickly down the back straight, slowly catching Schersing, but Schersing into his running now, and Scamarone going well on the outside. 
Black strength is sheer power, and there they go through halfway, and he's showing it. He's closed right up on Scherzing, and he kicks very hard. That top shot really shows how fast Black is moving. He's in lane number six. As they unwind off the bend, he should be in front. Roger Black leads. Scherzing there, Scamrall there. On the inside is Canty of France. And Black leading, and Phil Brown right at the back. He's in eighth place. Canty on the inside, coming very quickly. But Black qualifies easily. Scherzing second, Canty third, Scamrall fourth, and Phil Brown right out of it, very surprisingly, in eighth place. And he just can't find it in the individual races. But what a fine piece of aggressive running by this young man. He's improved so much in 12 months. From European junior champion, he's got a real chance of becoming the European senior champion. His winning time here, 45.33. From 200 metres through to 300 metres, he really went through the field. And look at him looking. First he looked to the left, then to the right, checking his position, running sensibly, doing no more than he has to do. And Scherzing joins him in the final. Canty of France on the inside and the other qualifier, Skarmral, the European record holder from West Germany. Well, I must say he's reminiscent of David Jenkins, this boy Roger back, that long loping stride and forward lean and uh, growing in stature and maturity because he can look over to his left and have a look at uh, where the opposition is and really very composed indeed. Well, Roger Black won't be thinking about his teammate at this moment, Todd Bennett. He's just thinking about qualifying. But uh, Todd is also coached by uh, Roger Black's coach, Mike Smith. And uh, you may have heard earlier, and no doubt Mike Smith is watching this, that uh, Todd pulled a hamstring muscle on the first bend of the 200 metres this morning and had to stop and didn't qualify. Well, Mike Smith has rung our office here in Stuttgart to ask how Todd is. Um, well, Mike and viewers at home, uh, Todd's had a recurrence uh, of a hamstring problem that Mike Smith would know about uh, that took place last week and he's definitely, I'm afraid, out of the relay. But it isn't a really bad pull, but enough to put him out.